Good morning to the honorable members of the Commission Appointments, ladies and gentlemen. The sixth meeting of the Committee on National Defense of the Commission on Appointments in the first regular session of the 19th Congress is hereby called to order. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. The Honorable Officers and Members of the Committee on National Defense, Vice Chairperson, Senator Marie Lourdes Nancy S. Binay, Senator, Senator Francis Chis G. Escudero, Senator Jingoy Ejercito Estrada, Senator Christopher Bong T. Go, Present. Representative Oscar Oka G. Malapitan, Senator Aimee Marcos, Representative Representative Jose Gay G. Padernos, Representative Johnny T. Pimentel, Senator Francis Tol N. Tolentino, Members, Representative Ferginel G. Biron, MD, Representative Albert S. Garcia, Representative Greg G. Gasataya, Present. Senator Risa Ontiveros, Senator Lauren Legarda, Representative Lani Mercado Revilla, Senator Grace Poe, Representative Manuel T. Sagarbaria, Senator Cynthia A. Villar, Ex officio members, Vice Chairperson Representative Ramon N. Guico Jr., Majority Floor Leader Representative Luis Raymond Elroy F. Villaferte Jr., Assistant Majority Floor Leader Senator Joseph Victor G. Ejercito, Assistant Majority Floor Leader Representative Rodante D. Marcoleta, Minority Floor Leader, Senator Alan Peter Compañero S. Cayetano. The chairperson is present. With uh, seven members present in person, including the chair, and four members present online, with a total of 11 members present, the existence of a quorum is hereby declared. Majority Floor Leader. Yes, Mr. Chair, I move to dispense with the reading of the minutes of the previous meetings held on May 16 and May 17, 23, and consider the same as approved. I so move, Mr. Chair. Is there any objection? The, the chair hears none. The motion is hereby approved. The chair would like to acknowledge online presence of Representative Ferginel G. Biron, MD. Again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, honorable members of the Commission Appointments, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, Esteemed members of the Commission Appointments, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning again. Today, your committee is tasked to deliberate on the ad interim appointments of 51 general flag and senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines that were submitted to the committee's jurisdiction for its consideration. Officers, please stand as your name is being called. Leo Edward Y. Caranto to the rank of Brigadier General. Orlando D. Edralin to the rank of Brigadier General, Wario C. Marayag to the rank of Commodore, Charlton Shan, Shan M. Gairlan to the rank of Lieutenant General, Olpiano T. Olarte to the rank of Brigadier General, Alvin V. Luzon to the rank of Brigadier General, Patricio Ruben P. Amata to the rank of Brigadier General, Patriarch Robinson P. Pell to the rank of Brigadier General, Ray B. Alemania to the rank of Major General, Antonio C. Rota Jr. to the rank of Brigadier General with a waiver of personal appearance, uh, Your Honors, Michael G. Samson to the rank of Brigadier General, Ritza Ann M. Jovellanos to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Elmer J. Villanueva to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Ashley N. Nastor to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Navy, Marines. Wo, uh, Paul Anthony V. Avi Quebel to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force with a waiver of personal appearance, Your Honors. Joel G. Salaginto to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Vincent Mauricio to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Ronald P. Lakbain to the rank of Colonel. Philippine Air Force, Michael Dion S. Costes to the rank of Colonel, Medical Administrative Corps, 
in Manuel S. Degal to the rank of Colonel, Medical Corps, Los Mindo N. Mamawag Jr. to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army, Christopher M. Mendoza to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army, Benvenido R. Hindang Jr. to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army, Jesus T. Diocton to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army, Jason A. Manaligod to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy, Vito Minlo V. Sarmiento, the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Christopher, Christopher B. Pablo, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Alvin J. A. Kapingian, the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Maricris Q. Castro, to the rank of Colonel, Medical Corps, Eric G. Alcera, to the rank of Colonel, Judge Advocate General Service, Wilfredo B. Borgonia Jr. to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Benjamin B. Pajarito Jr. to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Victorino M. Senyo to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Antonio R. Lalisan II to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Dominic B. Binauro to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Rogelio F. La Chica, to the rank of Captain, Jr., to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Daniel P. Tanhuan, to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Cyrus B. Mendoza, to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Rodolfo N. Mangaya, Jr., to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Maria Cherry Pai M. Fernandez, to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Chris B. Abad, to the rank of Colonel. Philippine Air Force, Abraham G. Himora to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Ralph Y. Hibun Hibionada to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Edward R. Cervantes to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Francis L. Dancel to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Nasul A. Sahili to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Rodel C. Pacordo to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Benito Noel M. Rivera to the rank of Colonel, Dental Service, Joseph Jeremias Cirilo D. Dator to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army, uh, Amado V. De La Paz to the rank of Brigadier General, Gaylord H. Santos to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Madam Secretary, please kindly report on the uh, jurisdictional requirements and other pertinent information relative to their ad interim appointments in compliance with the new rules of the Commission and the rules of the Standing Committees, ma'am, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Your Honours. The ad interim appointments of 51 general flag and senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines dated March 23, April 4, and 13, 2023, under consideration today by the committee, were received by the Commission Secretariat on April 11 and 20, 2023, and were forthwith referred to the Committee on National Defense by the Senate President and CA Chairperson Juan Miguel Migs F. Zubiri, pursuant to Section 16, Chapter 5 of the New Rules of the Commission. Likewise, on various dates, said 51 ad interim appointments were published into newspapers of general circulation, the Manila Times and Manila Standard, and broadcast over PTB4 pursuant to Section 2, Article 2 of the Rules of the Standing Committees. All the appointees have complied with the submission of the mandatory documentary requirements as provided in Section 24, Chapter 6 of the New Rules of the Commission. The CA Secretariat received a letter from the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personal J-1, Brigadier General Romel P. Roldan, dated 19 May 2023, addressed to the Committee Chair, Representative Romualdo, requesting for the waiver personal appearance of Colonel Paul Anthony V. Abiquilville, who is currently situated, stationed abroad as the Assistant GAFA Defense and Armed Forces Attaché to Australia. Yesterday, another letter from the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personal J-1, addressed to the committee chair, was received by the CA Secretariat requesting for the waiver of personal appearance of Brigadier General Antonio C. Rota, Jr., who tested positive for COVID-19. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, that is all then, Mr. Chairman, your honors. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Before we proceed, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of Representative Manuel T. Sagarbaria. Good morning. Majority Floor Leader. Mr. Chair, I move that the letter request for the waiver of appearance of Colonel Avikivil be approved. I so move, Mr. Chair. Is there any objection? To hear the Chair hears none. The motion is hereby approved. For the information, the body, Colonel Avikivil, cannot be present online as he's, he is currently attending the air staff talks in Canberra, Australia, where cell phones and other electronic devices are not allowed. Majority the Floor Leader, please. Yes, Mr. Chair, in consultation with the Chair of this committee, I move that the letter request for your personal appearance of Brigadier General Rota Jr. be disapproved and the consideration of ad interim appointment be rescheduled to a later date to give him opportunity to be present physically during the deliberations. I so move, Mr. Chair. Is there second? Uh, there's a motion and being seconded, hearing no objection. The Chair hears none. The re letter request for the waiver of personal appearance of Brigadier General Rota is disapproved. And the consideration for his ad interim appointment is rescheduled next week for him to be present physically during the del deliberations. Madam Secretary, please administer the oath to all the appointees present, please. Please stand and raise your right hands. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? So help you, God. Response. Mr. Chairman, the appointees are now all under oath. You may take your seats. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, may we now call on Lieutenant General Gerland, the most senior among the appointees, under consideration today. Please take the seat in front, General. To the honorable members, the floor is now open for inquiries, if there is any, to our senior uh, officer. General Gailan. Yes, sir. To the honorable members of the Committee on National Defense on the Commission on Appointments, morning. Uh, on behalf of the 51 uh, flag general and senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, uh, I would like to thank the Honorable Committee on National Defense of the Commission on Appointments for allowing us to be here today to hear our confederation hearing. First of all, sir, I'm uh, Lieutenant General uh, Charlton Sean M. Gerland, Philippi Davy Marines. I'm currently the Deputy Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, and I was previously the Commandant of the Philippine Marine Corps, and also the Commander of the AFP Education and Training Doctrine Command. I hail from uh, Baguio City, sir, and I'm a graduate of the Philippine Military Academy, class of 1989. Uh, that's all, sir, uh, Mr. Chairman. The floor is now open to the honorable members. Mr. Chair, I have no questions, but uh, this is a manifestation of support. As usual, once again, we have members, or rather nominees who are members of the Fraternity of Free and Accepted Masons. So therefore, Mr. Chair, may I request these, these nominees, once your names are called, to come forward to be recognized. First and foremost, Mr. Chair, we have the head of delegation, Lieutenant General Charlton C. N. Gerlan. He is from, uh, he's a member of Illegan Masonic Lodge number 207, Illegan City. Brigadier General Michael G. Samson of Mount Tapulao Masonic Lodge number 389 in Iba, Simbales. 
Brigadier General Leo Edward Y. Caranto. He is a member of Bernardo Carpio Masonic Lodge No. 359 in San Mateo, Rizal. Colonel Joseph Jeremia C. Dator of Hiram Masonic Lodge No. 88 of the Grand Lodge of Inaccepted Masons. Captain Daniel Tan Juan, a member of Emilio Aguinaldo Masonic Lodge No. 31 in Kawit, Cavite and Colonel Christopher B. Pablo of Mount Manila, Mount Lebanon, Masonic Lodge Number 1 of the Grand Lodge of Free and Accepted Masons. In behalf of the Grand Lodge of Free and Accepted Masons, we manifest our support to the Mason nominees, and we would like to inform you that we are very, very proud of you. All the Masons of our fraternity has signified uh, through messages that all Masons of uh, for confirmation today bring honor to our fraternity. Congratulations to all Mason nominees. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Congressman Pimentel. Congratulations to all my dads. You may take your seats. Uh, we'd like to acknowledge the presence online of Representative Jose Gay G. Padjernos. Majority Floor Leader. Mr. Chair, just like uh, to ask Siguro, our uh, most senior uh, confirmee, uh, Jer Garlan, who was a former commandant of the Philippine Marine Corps. Uh, Jer Garlan, how many members of the Philippine Marine Corps are still stationed in uh, BRP Sierra Madre in the Ayung in Seoul? Yes, sir. Uh, currently, I think there's a squad of uh, Marines at uh, the Ayungin Chol, sir. Ayungin Chol. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, they're also with the other members of the uh, Philippine TV who are there aboard the ship, sir. Yes. How, how, um, gano katagal po sila doon yung kanilang tour uh, every time bago sila palitan? Yes, sir. Uh, for now, sir, usually there's only, uh, it only takes a month because, uh, are the the Western Command usually conducts regular uh, rotation of our troops. Uh, unlike before, sir, when uh, it took uh, very long time, sometimes three to six months. But now, sir, with our uh, new ships and uh, new capabilities, uh, especially of the Philippine Navy, with support also of the Philippine Air Force, sir. Uh, our, the rotation of troops can be done actually every month now, sir. But actually, all in all, it will take, I think, 45 days for the complete uh, rotation of the troops in all our islands in the uh, Kaila Kalayan Island groups, uh, Mr. Chairman. So, yes. yes, Mr. Chair, that, the reason I asked, because since 1998, if I'm not mistaken, that was the time that the BRP Sierra Madre was uh, stationed there, not so that uh, we can uh, plot our territory and the uh, Mr. Chen nakakaawa yung mga ano natin doon no personnel uh, marines uh, navy sometimes uh, uh, more or not sometimes but uh, often they are harassed already mga supply ships are being harassed by uh, the Chinese coast guard uh, lately they have been very hostile so minsan po uh, Jer Garlan um, paano po ko naharas kung hindi po pinapayagan yung supply ships ibig sabihin walang hindi nakakarating yung kanilang supply doon sa ano. Uh, how often also, uh, how itong uh, incidents of hostilities uh, between the Chinese Coast Guard and our own uh, Navy and supply ship? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, actually, sir, there's always uh, continuous uh, harassment of uh, our troops there at uh, the Kailan Island groups and... Uh, Sometimes uh, the reprovision of our uh, troops there are always uh, delayed. Uh, it's depending on the situation at hand, sir. Sometimes uh, pag, uh, when the, uh, there's lots of news about uh, the conflict at the West Philippine Sea, sir, uh, that's the time also that they uh, usually uh, are very aggressive in uh, blocking or not allowing some of our ships to... Uh, Go there, sir. And uh, 
nevertheless, uh, our ships continue to attempt to go there until such time that uh, they were able to pass through and uh, allow oh. the pollution. Well, it in. <laughs> However, sir, uh, sometimes uh, these maneuvers are very dangerous, especially to our uh, Navy men, sir, who are uh, using the ships, and uh, it may cause uh, damage or even uh, loss of lives if uh, there will be uh, a lot of miscalculation on the part, sir, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, General Gulam. The reason I ask because uh, we, uh, in particular in the Senate, have been very supportive of the AAP modernization, especially now that uh, the focus of the President is already external defense. We are trying to shore up. We, we cannot fight China, of course, but at least we can uh, put up the minimum credible defense posturing that we all aspire for. And be rest assured that we will support our men and women in uniform, especially the Marines and the Navy men who are stationed there. And uh, we commend them, and sal my salute, for holding the ground, for fighting for our sovereignty and our territorial integrity. So be rest assured to the mayor that, uh, again, we will support the AP modernization so that we will have that um, at least respectable fleet no, that uh, will command uh, respect from the Chinese Coast Guard. And uh, again, thank you and uh, uh, my salute to all of you for holding forth and uh, fighting for our territorial ante integrity. That's all, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Major Ted Floor Leader. The Chair uh, recognizes Senator Christopher Bong Tigo, our uh, Vice Chairman, Committee on National Defense, Commission <laughs> Appointments, would like to manifest his support. Mr. Chair, uh, my distinguished colleagues, uh, allow me to manifest my support for the confirmation of the ad interim appointments of uh, the uh, 50 general and senior officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. As vice chairman of the Committee on National Defense, let me make of uh, record my full support for uh, <clears throat> the following. Brigadier General uh, Leo Caranto, uh, Brigadier General Orlando Edralin, Brigadier General, uh, General uh, uh, pa Patriarch uh, Robinson Pell, uh, Brigadier General um, Michael Samson, Brigadier Major General Ray Alemania, Colonel uh, Wilfredo Borgonia Jr., Brigadier General Amado de la Paz, Commodore uh, Juario Maraya, Brigadier General Charlton Garland, Brigadier General Olpiano Olarte, Brigadier General Alvin Luzon, Colonel Elmer Villanueva, Colonel Ashley Nastor, Colonel Paul Anthony Avi Kivil, Colonel Joel Salaginto, Colonel Vincent Mauricio, Colonel Ronald Lakbain, Colonel Michael Dion Costes, Colonel Emmanuel Tigal, Colonel Luz Mindo, Mamawag Jr., Colonel Christopher Mendoza, Colonel Bienvenido Hindang Jr., Colonel Jesus Yocton, Colonel Vito Mino Sarmiento, Colonel Christopher Pablo, Colonel uh, Alvin J. Uh, Capingian, <clears throat> sorry, Colonel Eric Alcera, Colonel Benjamin uh, Pajarito Jr., Colonel Victorino Senio, Colonel Rodolfo Mangaya Jr., Colonel Chris Abad, Colonel uh, Abraham Gemora, Colonel Ralph uh, Hibionada, Colonel uh, Edward Cervantes, Colonel Francis Dancel. Colonel Nasul uh, Sajili, Colonel Rodel Bacordo, Colonel Benito Noel Rivera, Colonel Joseph Dator, Colonel Jason Manaligod, Colonel Antonio Lalisan II, Colonel Dominic Binauro, Colonel Rogelio La Chica Jr., Colonel Daniel Tanjuan, Colonel Cyrus Mendoza, and of course to our admirable uh, women in uniform, Colonel Ritza Jan Povellanos, uh, Colonel Maricris Castro, Colonel uh, Maria. Cherry Pai uh, Fernandez, ang uh, inyo pong sakripisyo at serbisyo sa ating bansa at sa ating mga kababayan ay walang katulad. Maraming salamat po sa inyong uh, serbisyo sa bayan noon pa man. Uh, hanggang ngayon sa pandemya, malaking bagay po ang nagawa nyo. Hindi po natin mararating ito, hindi po sa inyong uh, sakripisyo para sa ating mga kababayan. Thank you for uh, choosing to keep our community safe and secure at the expense of your own uh, lives. Lalo lalo po sa Gera, sa Marawi. Uh, salamat po sa inyong serbisyo sa bayan. Ako naman po, 
kahit panahon ni Pangulong Duterte hanggang ngayon, full support po ako sa ating uh, mga Armed Forces of the Philippines. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong servisyo sa bayan. Congratulations po to all of you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Our uh, Vice Chairman, Committee of National Defense, Commission Appointments, uh, Senator Christopher Bong D. Go. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, our uh, Chairman, Ramon Guico, please, sir. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I have no questions to the military, but uh, I would like to give my manifesto of support. I convey my full support for the confirmation of the 50 military officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines under the Department of National Defense. They have proven themselves before the Commission on Appointments to be exemplary professionals in their field and as public servants with genuine dignity, grit, and compassion. Once approved, we can rest assured that our armed forces will be comprised of even more capable hands. There is no doubt that these brave men and women will play a critical role as we move forward towards a stronger, more prosperous, and peaceful republic. As such, let me reiterate my highest support for their confirmation. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Chairman Ramon Guico. Majority Floor Leader. Mr. Chair, I would like to convey my 100% full support to the men in uniform here for all their sacrifices for our country. Uh, therefore, Mr. Chair, I move to recommend to the plenary for the commission to confirm the ad interim appointments of 50 general flag and senior officers in the armed force of the Philippines. I so move, Mr. Chair. Second. There is a motion, duly seconded, and without Mr. any Chair. objection. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, Congressman Greg Gasataya. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Chair. Very briefly, I just like to manifest my support for the uh, confirmation of uh, Brigadier General Michael Samson na ipinanganak at uh, lumaki po dito sa lungsod ng uh, Bacolod, uh, Honorable Chair. Just a manifestation of my full support for his uh, nomination and confirmation, Honorable Chair. Maraming salamat po. Umaga. Thank you, Congressman Gazataya. Again, going back the, to the motion, being uh, duly seconded without any objection, the same is hereby approved. Majority floor leader. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, there be no other matter to discuss. I move to adjourn the meeting. On motion of the majority floor leader, without any objection, the meeting is hereby adjourned. Congratulations. Thank you, honorable members of the commission appointments. Congratulations.
plenary session of the Commission on Appointments of the first regular session of the 19th Congress is hereby called to order. May I call on Congresswoman Lani Mercado Revilla to lead the chamber in prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Father God, we are gathered here in plenary as your commission on appointments duty bound to confirm the destiny that you have predetermined for our, your soldiers and to celebrate their promotion to a higher rank together with their families and friends who are present in the gallery. Jesus Christ, our Lord, you said in scripture, everyone to whom much was given, of whom of him much will be required, and from him to whom they entrusted much, they will demand the more. I ask therefore, O Lord, that you direct the steps of these gallant officers and gentlemen and gentlewomen to all times and give them wisdom and strength to all in a manner worthy of their calling so that in everything they say or do, only your name will be glorified. I know, Lord, that you have chosen and prepared these able men and women of the armed forces of the Philippines for this day. And today you have blessed them with a very special position of trust and confidence, not only of the appointing officer, the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., but of, of, but of the Filipino people themselves. You have endowed them with extraordinary abilities of mind, body, and spirit more than usual. You gave them leaders good mentors and supportive peers to help them achieve the promotion that they have achieved today. You sustained them and their families with bountiful provisions and you protected them in days when they had to face hardships, danger, and peril. And for these, Father God, we are deeply grateful for your generosity in their lives. The Lord says, Behold, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Therefore, I pray, Father God, that you will keep them away from temptations of the flesh and deliver them from the hands of the enemy. Give them cunning eyes to see in the darkness and make them light so that wherever they go, there will be enlightenment. Lastly, Father God, we know that the work that lies before your people is difficult, demanding, and vast, including your legislators here who are members of this chamber. Please grant each and every one of us the spirit of service in the way of your peace. We thank you for calling us in a vocation wherein we can serve our country, our people, and our God. May we never fail nor disappoint, O God, and may we never lack in your grace. To you alone shall we abide and depend. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. And these we humbly pray in the name of the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everybody says, Amen, amen. and Amen. Please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Secretary, please call the roll of members. The Honorable Members of the Commission on Appointments, Maria Lourdes Nancy S. Binay, Virginel G. Biron, Alan Peter Compañero S. Cayetano, Joseph Victor G. Ejercito, Francis Chis G. Escudero, Jingoy Ejercito Estrada, Albert S. Garcia, Greg G. Gasataya, Christopher Bong T. Go, Ramon N. Guico Jr., Risa Ontiveros, Loren Legarda, Oscar Oka G. Malapitan, 
Rodante D. Marcoleta, Aimi R. Marcos, Lani Mercado Revilla, Jose Gay G. Padernos, Johnny T. Pimentel, Grace Poe, Jordine Jesus M. Romualdo, Manuel T. Sagarbaria, Francis Tol N. Tolentino, Luis Raymond L. Ray F. Villaferti Jr., Cynthia A. Villar. The chairman is present. With 14 persons present and four online, total members of uh, the CA that are present are 18. The chair declares the presence of a quorum. Majority Leader. Yep. Mr. Chair, move to dispense with the reading of the journals of the plenary sessions held on May 16 and 17, 2023, and consider the same as approved. There being no objection to the motion, majority leader, motion is approved. Mr. Chair, may we now proceed to consider the recommendation of the Committee on National Defense on the ad interim appointments of 50 general flag and senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. I so move, Mr. Chair. There being no objection to the motion, motion is approved. Mr. Chair, I move that the chairperson of the Committee on National Defense, Representative J.J. M. Romualdo, be recognized. Our distinguished colleague from the beautiful island province of Camigin, uh, Congressman J.J. Romualdo, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor, uh, honorable members of the Commission on Appointments. <clears throat> Mr. Chair, distinguished members of the Commission on Appointments, good afternoon. This representation as chairperson of the Committee on National Defense presided over a public hearing this morning to deliberate on the 50 ad interim appointments of general and flag officers in the armed forces of the Philippines. Your committee, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor, after deliberating on their qualifications and fitness during the public hearing, determined that they are fit <coughs> and qualified to be promoted to the ranks where they are appointed, and therefore ruled to recommend to the plenary for the commission to confirm the ad interim appointment, appointments of the following. Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. Charlton Shan M. Gerlan to the rank of Lieutenant General. Ray B. Alemania to the rank of Major General. Amado V. De La Paz to the rank of Brigadier General. Patriarch Robinson P. Pell to the rank of Brigadier General. Leo Edward Y. Caranto to the rank of Brigadier General, Orlando D. Edralin to the rank of Brigadier General, Patricio Ruben P. Amata to the rank of Brigadier General, Alvin V. Luzon to the rank of Brigadier General, Ulpiano T. Olarte to the rank of Brigadier General, Juario C. Marayag to the rank of Commodore, Michael G. Samson to the rank of Brigadier General, Paul Anthony V. Avi Kevel to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force with a waiver of personal appearance, Mr. Chairman, Your Honors, Christopher B. Pablo to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Rodolfo N. Mangaya Jr. to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Maria Cherry Pie M. Fernandez to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Vito Minlo V. Sarmiento to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Chris B. Abad to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Alvin J. A. Kapingian to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Abraham G. Hemora to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Ronald P. Lakbain to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Ralph Y. Hibionada to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Edward R. Cervantes to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Francis L. Dancel to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Ritz Ann Hovellanos to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Nasul A. Sahili to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Rodel C. Pacordo to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Antonio R. Lalisan II to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Ashley N. Nastor to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Navy, Marines. 
Dominic B. Binauro to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Gaylord H. Santos to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Jason A. Manaligod to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Rogelio F. La Chica Jr. to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Daniel P. Tanhuan to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Cyrus B. Mendoza to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Los Mindo N. Mamawag Jr. to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Christopher M. Mendoza to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Elmer J. Villanueva to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Benvenido Arhindang Jr. to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Joseph Jeremiah Cerillo D. Dator to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Wilfredo B. Borgonia Jr. to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Jesus T. Dioctón to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Joel G. Salaginto to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Vincent D. Mauricio to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Benjamin B. Pajarito Jr. to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Victorino M. Senyo to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Emmanuel S. Degal to the rank of Colonel Medical Corps, Mary Chris Q. Castro to the rank of Colonel Medical Corps, Michael Dion S. Costes to the rank of Colonel Medical Administrative Corps, Benito Noel M. Rivera to the rank of Colonel Dental Service, Eric G. Alcera to the rank of Colonel Judge Advocate General Service. I so move, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. Majority Leader. Mr. Chair, before we act on the motion, there are a number of members of the Commission who would like to deliver their seconded speeches. May we now recognize Congressman uh, Ramon Gico. Our distinguished colleague, co-chair of the Commission Appointments, uh, Congressman Ramon Monching Gico is recognized. Uh, Mr. Chair, I stand here today to manifest my full support for the confirmation of the appointment of the 50 military officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines under the Department of National Defense. They have proven themselves before the Commission on Appointments to be capable of the responsibilities required of their appointed positions. We can rest assured that these officers will fully exercise their duties and responsibilities to the best of their ability, considering the critical role they will play in ensuring peace and security for all Filipinos. I would like to take this moment to commend my fellow Pangasinenses under the consideration of this August body, namely Colonel Mikael Dion Santos Costes, Colonel Maricris Kitan Castro, Colonel Joseph Jeremias Cirillo, Colonel Christopher Bautista Pablo, uh, and Commodore Wario Quison Marayag. Overall, let me reiterate that I support the confirmation of the 50 military officers of our armed forces under the Department of National Defense. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Thank Chair, you. may we now recognize Congresswoman Lani Mercado Revilla. Our distinguished colleague from the great province of Cavite, Congresswoman Lani Mercado Revilla is recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. This representation fully supports the confirmation of the ad interim appointment of the 50 officers and members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, particularly today, my Kababayan and constituent Colonel Victorino Magnaye Senyo of the Philippine Army. This is a well-deserved promotion. For 28 years, Colonel Vic 
has, be, has given his life in devoted service to our country since his graduation from the Philippine Military Academy in 1999. His meritorious service having been awarded the Distinguished Service Star, two Gold Cross Medals, Silver Cross Medal, Meritorious Achievement Medal, and many others is further strengthened by his unblemished service record. Moreover, he is well regarded by superiors and subordinates on the account of his various accomplishments, loyalty and dedication to his uniform and badge as an officer of the armed forces. Colonel Vic, this representation can say for certain that your bemedaled uniformed service is proof that professionalism, dedication, loyalty and love for country runs deep in the armed forces and will never wane. You have our confidence and backing as you continually introduce dynamic innovations to enhance infantry operations and management, effectively and skillfully maneuver our troops in the defense of our republic. Congratulations and to all our newly promoted and distinguished members of the armed forces. Sama-sama tulong-turong para sa mas matatag at mapayapang Pilipinas. God bless all the works of your hands. Mabuhay ang hukbong sandatahan ng Pilipinas. Thank you very much. Enjoy dinner. Mr. Chair, may we now recognize Congressman G.P. Padernos. Our distinguished colleague, uh, Congressman uh, G.P. Padernos is uh, recognized. The birthday boy for the month of May. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Mr. President. Mr. Chair, my distinguished uh, colleagues in the Commission on Appointments, good afternoon. G.P. Partilis and myself, as each representative, considers it and an honor to manifest a general support for the confirmation by this honorable commission of the ad interim appointments of all our DND nominees. Isang malang, malaking karangalan din po na ipinagmamalaki ko ang aking mga kababayan mula sa San Antonio na si Colonel Christopher Makapagal Mendoza para sa ating Philippine Army. Saludo kaming Noboy Sihano sa inyong husay at uh, tibay. Muli, maraming salamat sa lahat ng ating Department of National Defense officials sa kanilang serbisyo para sa ating bansa. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon. Maraming salamat po. Mr. Chair, Senator Bongo, Senator Lauren Legarda, Congressman Abet Garcia would wish to submit their seconding speech in writing to be incorporated in the journal of today's session. I so move, Mr. Chair. There being no objection to the motion, motion is approved. Mr. Chair, may we reiterate the earlier motion for the Commission to confirm the ad interim appointments of the aforementioned 50 general flag and senior officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. On the part of the majority, we move, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, on the part of the minority, we support the confirmation of the ad interim appointment of the 50 and flag officers, generals and flag officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. Yes, and before I act on the motion, I just want to congratulate the men and women of the armed forces. Maraming maraming salamat sa servisyo nyo sa inang bayan. I never fail to mention that when we confirm our soldiers, men and women of uh, the armed services group. And uh, we thank you because we are enjoying this democracy that we have now and the freedoms that we are enjoying now because of your steadfast commitment to protecting our country and its constitution. So maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. And without further ado, uh, the, there being no objection to the ad interim appointments of the 50 members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines General Flag Officers, the aforementioned 50 general flag officers, senior officers of the armed forces are hereby confirmed. Congratulations, Paul Senior. Mr. Chair, there being no other matter to discuss, I move to adjourn. Before we do that, uh, I just want to remind everyone to join us here in the podium after we adjourn. Maraming salamat. There being no objection. This hearing is adjourned or the session is adjourned.